Guys, we're back with Robbie Pruitt from Antler King. And Robbie, we're on the 12th installment of Asking You the Hard Questions. And, um, you know, this haven't, is... You haven't stumped me yet. I haven't stumped you yet, and I didn't yeah. figure I would. This is one that, um, you know, I think inside we all kind of know, but not everybody does it. Let's talk pH levels in your soil and what mm -hmm. it can do for your food plot, good and bad, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Well, the pH is the number one step you need to take, and it's the number one step that most people don't. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing about this, checking your pH, like with our pH test kit, you know, you're looking at like a $15 kit that will do four different plots. Ag line is very cheap. It's actually the cheapest thing you can do uh, to get optimal growth on a food plot. Mm -hmm. I hear it all the time. And back in my younger days of just getting in the food plot, I thought the same way. I'm not going to check my pH. I'm just going to add, line, uh, add fertilizer. Well, the pH is actually the tool that allows that plant to absorb that nutrient. So if you're, you know, you're looking at the perfect pH, a neutral pH of 7.0. At a 7.0 pH, that plant can utilize 100% of the nutrients that you give it. So when that pH starts dropping down, let's say to a 5.5, you know, you're actually losing about at a 5.5 pH, your, your plants are going to lose about yeah, 35 to 40% of the nutrients that you're giving them. So that's just money you're throwing on the ground. Right. The money that you should have put into lime to build that pH up. Mm -hmm. So just adding fertilizer and not lime to get the pH up, you're just throwing money away. Right. If your plot is down. Now, don't get me wrong. Some plots, you know, I think we did it here last year. We checked one of your plots here last year and it was 7.0. We it was couldn't perfect. believe it. You yep. know, I mean, it's beautiful. But usually on an average virgin ground, you're looking about 5.5 pH, yeah. which you're going to lose a lot of money in fertilizer just by not you, testing your soil. Right. I think one of the big fears is um, to get your pH tested, you used to have to take soil samples and mm -hmm. ship them off and you had to wait. That game has changed. With us, I mean, ours is instant. Within 20 minutes, standing right in the middle of the food plot, you know right. exactly what you need, how many tons of uh, lime you need to build that up to the desired amount that you want. Uh, and and the key thing about it is, a lot of people think ag lime. I don't want to do it because ag lime is messy. It's real dusty. It's powdery. Yep. But the best thing to use is pelletized lime. It's just like spreading fertilizer. Right. It's a pelletized. The pelletized lime will actually break down it takes about three months to break down where ag lime takes six months. So if you ever look at a farmer, they're normally putting their ag lime on after they harvest their crop because they need that breakdown process all the way to the plant the next spring. So just going into a food plot, say you're wanting to plant this coming weekend and you put your lime in the same time you plant, that doesn't mean that pH is built back up that 7.0 where you want it. It's going to take time for that to break down. Sure. But at least it's breaking down while you got something planned and it's going to benefit them planting it better than nothing and get it going better for the next year. Yeah. But it's always better to get it in. And if you can ever work it in with a tiller, this, something like that, uh, the breakdown process is even quicker and it's going to help that plot. Now, and you guys have got a product that um, kind of aids in some of that, if I understand that right. To a point, yeah. um, we got a product called Plot Max, yep. our liquid product. Uh, it treats a half acre. It's actually a soil conditioner. It's not what I want to call a, a so-called uh, liquid calcium. Okay, so it's, it's not necessarily going to change your pH. It, it will spike it, Okay, but it's very, very short-lived. Okay. Just because of the humic acid. You put it on the soil, it's going to spike it. Within a month, it's back down to where it was at again. It's not made to raise your pH. It's made to break down your soil to allow the nutrients stored in the soil to, to get to the root system quicker of the plant. When would you apply that plot max? You can, I like applying my first dosage prior to planting. Okay. I'll, I'll go in there when, let's say I'm going to go into a new area and I'm going to kill a plot off. I'm going to put that plot max right in with my glyphosate roundup, whatever I'm using. So I'm going to spray the kill the area off, apply the plot max, the, the, the plot max mm -hmm. at the same time. And then I want to go in and plant after I'm ready to get planted, my, work my ground up the whole nine yards, say 10, 12 days later, I'll plant. After my plants get up about three inches tall, I want to go in and hit it with another one, and then I'm done for the year. Awesome. I like two applications. Okay. Guys, we hope you've enjoyed this series. I know I really have. Having Robbie up here at my farm, I feel like I've got a personal consultant that uh, I know I reaped the benefits last year, 
and uh, hopefully for many years to come. So thanks again for joining us. And Robbie, thanks for answering all the questions. No, I appreciate it. Look forward to the next one. You got it, guys. Take care.